And what this memo exposed to me is that the problem with the way uh, our uh, governmental system carries out the law is the same problem that the church has with how we carry out scripture. Because the law is just as open to interpretation as is scripture. So I believe it starts with what is your intrinsic internal motive for how you are carrying this out? If you, would, if you use the law to explain away how three white men can get their guns, chase down a black man while he's jogging through his neighborhood, box him in with their guns in hand, loaded, ready to shoot, and then when he tries to do whatever he can to preserve his life, you use the law to interpret that as they were defending themselves. They got guns and chased him down, but they were defending him themselves. And that is your interpretation of the law. That suggests to me, you went into your interpretive practice with the wrong motives to begin with, the same way we do in church. If you go to the scriptures and your intent is to demonize a group of people, you can find ways to interpret the scripture to demonize whoever you want to. If you want to demonize black people, you can find ways to do it and how you interpret scripture. If you want to demonize LGBTQ plus persons, you can do it with your approach to how you interpret scripture. If you want to demonize or diminish women, you can do it with how you interpret scripture. And I believe that is one of the problems with the system right now. How are people approaching their interpretation of the law? I think that's what happened in the Trayvon Martin case. That's what happens in all of these cases where black and brown bodies are murdered in the streets. And then we get all of these uh, uh, political pundits and uh, experts in the law who find ways to justify it. You've gone into your interpretive process with nefarious motives <laughs> and i believe it's when a prosecutor tries to become a defendant a defense exactly, attorney you know exactly